Are you looking for a digital whiteboard for your iPad for, to use for teaching? Well, I tested out six of them for you and I think I found the right one. Stick around. Hey friends, I'm Tobaldo on Tech, AKA the Paperless Professor. And I'm a professor and I'm a doctoral student and I share tech tips, resources, reviews for teachers and students just like you if you wanna be paperless or just learn more about ed tech. And in this episode, I'm gonna take a look at digital whiteboards. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning friend, thanks for coming back. It's so good to see you again. And I appreciate the fact that you subscribed and ring that bell so you get my notification videos. So here's the thing. I tested out six digital whiteboard applications on my iPad just for you. I looked at six criteria. One was the writing experience, the writing tools and accessories that are available in the app. I wanted to learn about the paper and the backgrounds that were available. I wanted to learn about importing images and what I could do with them. I also wanted to look at the recording features that were in the app and how easily it was to share out to a learning management system or to get out to my students. And finally, the last thing I looked at was price, something we're all interested in as teachers. So stick around and take a look. I think I found the right one for you. Explain Everything EDU had a great writing experience. Writing with the pencil, I had so many options. I had pencils and pens, and then I made this mistake here, and then I found that there was an in-app editing feature that I didn't even know about. It was phenomenal. So once I figured that out, I was able to delete things, went back in, it's got a highlighting experience. The recording experience was great. The templates, hundreds and hundreds of templates already pre-made or just to just do random like a notebook was super cool and then I was able to import pictures uh, right out of my camera roll and when I imported the picture out of my camera roll I could manipulate it and make it bigger amazing feature then I found actually that I could import like clip art and cool um, kind of emojis and things like that. So bonus there. Absolutely phenomenal. The text editor was great. I, it had adjustable sizes and background colors. I could move it around. It was phenomenal. It actually, the text editor also had function keys for mathematics. So if you wanted to do mathematical equations, you had that option in there as well. Overall, the one of the best experiences ever definitely got six stars it does cost $13.99 the next one was EduCreations very very basic writing tools you can see I only have five colors um, super super simple and an eraser um, four different background options nothing super spectacular here was kind of disappointed. I had an import feature where I imported the um, clip art. Oh no, here's the text editor, sorry. Text editor was pretty basic. Um, again, I could make some, a couple of changes. I could move it around. That was a kind of nice feature. The recording feature, you can see I'm recording now. It was all right. It was nice when I imported a picture, it actually paused the recording and allowed me to import the picture and actually gave me a warning. Other, other apps did not do this. Um, so I had to remember to start the recording back up again on my own. Um, and then it did have an in-app editor, which was actually really interesting. I wasn't expecting that for something as basic as this. Uh, but I can't rotate the image. I can just make it bigger or smaller, and then once it's there, it's there. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, I also have to remember to start the recording again. Not too happy about that. And then finally, once it was done, I literally couldn't do anything with it. I could name it and save it, and I could not get it out uh, without paying a fee. So not happy about that. The subscription service was too expensive, $12.99 a month or 100 bucks a year. Forget it. Not worth it for a teacher, in my opinion. The next one was Show Me, uh, one I've used before. Writing tools were okay, actually. They were they, At first, I thought they were simple, and then I found all the palettes, so pretty decent. Uh, backgrounds were very robust, um, had a lot of different background options to choose from. And as far as like uh, the, the writing experience was good, lots of different styles and shapes. Um, so I would, I would give that one a pretty decent um, 
I, it also it said I had to use my finger, but I was able to use the Apple Pencil. So when I went into the uh, the text editor, you can see it, the text editor. It did also have a mathematical function capability. I was really happy with this one. It was probably one of the better ones I tried, um, and I really liked it. As far as so, if you were doing math, that's kind of a nice feature. The problem was is that I couldn't move it. So once I put the cursor down, that was where it was. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, so the recording feature was decent. Um, I can import the photo. It stopped. You could see it blinking down at the bottom. So it stopped when I imported the photo, but then um, it didn't remind me to start the recording again. It just stayed. And oh, by the way, I could not move the, the image again. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, I wasn't really happy with that once I, I can't rotate it or anything like that. So remembering to start those recordings again is <laughs> is really challenging. So if it, if it it automatically stops, but it doesn't automatically start it up again. So that's, I think, just a, a bad design flaw. And then, again, once I saved it, I could name it, and then I could not do anything with it, not even put it to my Google Classroom. I can't even download it without paying a price. And this is crazy expensive, $9.99 a month? Forget about it. The math was the greatest piece of this. The pages were the greatest piece of this. Subscription service, boo, all the rest of the stuff, poor, not worth the investment. Next was Doceri. I really like Doceri. Um, the writing experience is, was great. The writing tools are extremely robust. It includes opacity, opacity, I think that's the word, in there. And um, I just thought it was just a great writing experience all around. It has paints and everything. This one does not have a text editor, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but it has a lot of um, drawing tools, uh, shapes tools, and all that kind of stuff that I think kind of make up for that. Um, so if you were really using it truly for your iPad, um, that's the use. The amount of backgrounds in here, pff, amazing, amazing. I have a lot, um, and I really liked this, this feature. It just, it's just so cool, um, and I love the backgrounds. And... So then moving into recording, the recording feature is really cool. I can manipulate the images that I bring in. Uh, I can continue to uh, move them around. Once even I've placed them, I could go back and move them around again. I love the fact that I can rotate them. Um, I can change different screens so I can have multiple screens with multiple backgrounds. Here's where it gets wonky, the sharing feature. Um, you kind of have to drag and drop, and it gets a little kind of kooky um, but it's okay you can um, you know you can download it as an mp3 and then save it so it's free it worked out really well I recommend it goes to your Google Classroom great experience next one is IPVO it's a document camera one decent writing experience not super robust kind of basic but not horrible um, it's got, you know, a couple colors and a couple, uh, it does do opacity as well. Um, basic, 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 uh, uh, oh yeah, by the way, importing images. Yeah, no, it just becomes a background. So the backgrounds are kind of punky, super basic. Text editor is decent. Um, it's up and down in different colors, um, uh, but nothing too great. Images, poor, backgrounds, weak. Dry, drawing experience. This is kind of the cool thing is it's got these these pieces um, that you can, and a highlighting feature. So that kind of made it a little bit better. But if you have an ipvo.cam, it's probably a good, a good deal. But otherwise, no. And then finally, Microsoft's whiteboard. If you're a Microsoft um, 365 user and you get this for free, this might be a decent experience. It's kind of a all-inclusive um, whiteboard experience. There's no pages. I'll tell you what, the writing was, I thought it was basic until I saw, no way, writing robust. It has a robust writing experience, lots of colors, lots of options, great eraser tools. Um, it has this, this ruler thing that was kind of weird. Um, it lets you put notes, basic backgrounds, ba mostly colors, not too many other options. So backgrounds, eh, kind of weak, but you know, there was there were options there. Um, you could add notes and dates and things like that. It was all super integrated into your um, Microsoft 365 account. You can actually share that as well. Importing images was basic. 
So what'd you think? I definitely think that my favorite by far is Explain EDU. It's worth every dime. I bought it a long time ago. I honestly don't remember how much I paid for it, but right now at the date of this recording, it's $13.99 and it's worth every single penny. It hits every single one of the criteria on the mark 100% as being the best digital whiteboard experience, sharing experience, and importing and exporting experience that I could possibly want. My second runner-up looking for a free version would be definitely Doseri. You saw how it hit almost all of the criteria, a little bit complicated getting it out, um, and but really I can just download it as a movie file and upload it into my Google Classroom or into my learning management system. So super simple in that regard. Those are my top two. Avoid the two that were subscriptions. We don't have money for that. Hello, we're teachers. So no subscription services for us. If you already have an ipvo.cam or you're already in the Microsoft ecosystem, those two may be good options for you as well. But my favorite, Explain EDU and Doseri. Top two by far, hands down. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure had a great time making it for you. And if you're a teacher and you want to check out our podcast, the My Tech Tool Belt podcast, so there's a link in the description below. We're on YouTube and we're on anywhere you want to listen to podcasts. We interview teachers who innovate, engage, and inspire using technology in their classroom. I love making that podcast. I love sharing those resources with you. So go ahead and check it out. If you enjoyed this video and you stayed till the end, thank you so much. I hope you'll join us as a friend and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. It sure helps me out, lets me know what kind of content you like, and ring the bell so you get notified when I drop a new video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Check out some of my tech tip in two minute videos. I'll put a link in the here or here or here. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.